Alright guys, Chuck here from Alaskan Ballistics. We have my 4 and 5 8 inch barrel Ruger Blackhawk. My buddy's Ruger Red Hawk, Super Red Hawk, 9 inch barrel. Huge gun. Alright, we have the 340 grain plus P plus from Underwood. It's supposed to be going 1425. I have shot the Buffalo Boar version of this out of the four and five eighths inch barrel here. I have not shot the Underwood ammo yet so we are going to do a review on there. We're going to chronograph uh, five rounds out of each gun and then shoot one and see how deep it penetrates into water jugs. So that is your 340 grain plus P plus. Definitely do not want to get hit by that. Great Alaskan bear load. And we will see how the Under Armour, under, we will see how the Underwood performs. Like and subscribe. Enjoy the video. All right, guys. Next up, 340 grain plus V plus from Underwood. Not looking forward to this stuff. This stuff kicks more than a 500 Smith and Wesson. 1384 long barrel. 1350 eye protection always safety first. 1343 1332 1332 again I had one that didn't shoot there we go Thirteen twenty-two. So not getting near what they said they would out of a nine-inch barrel. Actually, the box is actually m more on the box than a nine-inch barrel. You wouldn't suspect that. That was the Buffalo Bore Plus P Plus nine-inch barrel Ruger Super Red Hawk. I think my glove got in the way in the trigger in here, and that's what happened on that shot that didn't fire. Sometimes with revolvers, that happens when you're wearing thick gloves. All right. Let me make this gun safe, and we'll go get the shorter gun. 1264. 12.51. 12.71. 12.52. 1281 1244 That's all six. Let me get the brass out. All right, then we're gonna shoot some water jugs with the same I'll see how much it goes through. So I didn't press record on the uh, camera here. Let me go back and uh, see if I could, it'll show me the string there. Forty four is the last one we got, then twelve eighty one, then twelve fifty two, then twelve seventy one, twelve fifty one, just twelve sixty four, thirteen twenty two out of the longer barrel, thirteen thirty two out of the longer barrel, thirteen thirty two out of the longer barrel again, thirteen forty three. Those are the numbers we got. Way lower than what the box said. I have a dinner plate, pretty thick dinner plate, block of wood. 10 water jugs lined up. I have six water jugs, three on each side, just to see if the bullet bounces off around number four or five, then that's where I expect it to bounce off. It starts at about number five, goes to about number seven on the sides, so that it forms a little wall. Hopefully it won't bounce over them, which is very possible. So here we go, 340 grain, plus B plus from Underwood, versus the penetration test here. Added to the plate. Let's see how many water jugs we got. All right, shattered to the plate. Let's see how many water jugs we got.
All right, as you can see, we got a plate right there. Went straight through the block of wood. Kind of deflected it a little bit, pulled it slightly. It looks like my trick worked. So we had 10 water jugs on the table. We knocked two off the back, which means we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it looks like we have water down into the sixth one. Or fifth one. Fifth or sixth one is leaking water. It looks like it came out the side and my trick worked. There's the buffalo bore, hard cast lead, excuse me. There's the Underwood ammo, hard cast lead, 340 grain, plus P plus. I got half the plate left, got the shorter 44 mag, buffalo bore, plus P plus, all right. Definitely gonna give it a shot here. Gotta put my gloves on for this gun, otherwise it'll tear my hands up. I don't know why I do that, I always put my gloves in the wrong, in the wrong pocket. Anybody else do that? This is just me being weird. Yep. Here we go. I made it through a few more jugs that time. Looks like I made it through a few more jugs that time. I don't know if it went out the side or not. Let's see. All right, believe it or not, we made it through more of that. We have the wood and the plate piece crushed apart. And looks like we're into number, into number seven instead of six. And up, oh, there's the bullet again. My trick worked again. Bullet right there. Nice little 340 grain plus P plus from Underwood. Most likely went through extra because that would have been shot once already and also because the uh, plate had been shot once already and was in, I shot a different piece of the plate. Should have been a thicker piece of the plate, but there you go. It'll go through a, a heavy dinner plate, uh, two, two two by fours nailed together, and seven jugs of water. Way better than extreme penetrators. Make sure you check out those videos. Okay, the 340 grain hard pass plus B plus from underwent ammunition. Out of the 9 inch barrel, we had an average muzzle velocity of 1,343.83 feet per second, muzzle energy of 1,363.72 foot pounds. Out of the 4 and 5 8 inch barrel, we had an average muzzle velocity of 1,260.5 feet per second and a 1,199.83 foot pounds of energy. Overall disappointed with this. I think a nine inch barrel should do more than what the box says You think that was the cold that caused that and should I revisit this in the summer put that in the comments below?